the experiences of our ancestors. As immigrants and minorities, the generations before us faced many challenges. Their stories of sacrifice and struggle include having to change their names because they were too hard to pronounce, being forced to speak good English, abandoning the languages and dialects that their families had spoken for generations, being denied access to school and jobs, being forced to labor under exploitative conditions, working on farms, picking crops, building the railroad, cleaning houses, giving up their professions or their dreams to make a better life for their families, facing the burden of proving loyalty to a country that was at war with the homeland of their ancestors, being expected to keep quiet and enduring dignities because they were women, facing harassment or even being beaten because of their race, skin color, religion, or being too feminine or too masculine. Despite all this, the generations before us not only endure, but they excel. Their strength, courage, and pride enabled them to push back against a society they demonstrate resistance through organizing or simply doing their best to persevere day after day. Today and every day, let us honor the men and especially the women who came before us and continue to inspire us. Today, we envision a future that honors the legacy of those who have come before us. A future that is for our children and our grandchildren and for generations to come. What is this future we see? We envision a future that is just and equitable, where there is equal pay for equal work, regardless of gender, race, religion, social status, sexual orientation. Where each of us has a chance and opportunity to celebrate our strengths, our unique gifts and talents. So, if a little girl who wants to become president of the United States, there's a real opportunity for her to do that. Today, we envision a future where women are portrayed by the media not for their bodies, their hairstyle, or their sexuality, but for their strength, their skill, and ability. We envision a future where we act with courage and conviction, breaking through numbness and dumbing down. We envision a future where women and girls put aside competition and judgment so they can fully support each other, and where men and boys have a chance to discover their strength and their compassion in the presence of strong women and girls. We envision a future where we listen to the needs and experiences of one another to empower liberation and healing, and change. We envision a future on a healthy, sustainable planet that each of us contributes to, and a future with lives that we live full of hope, love, and peace. What can we do to create this future? How can we create this future? for ourselves, for those two.
what is to come. Because we are interconnected. What choices are you making in your life? When you say something, when you do something, do you think about how it might make someone else feel? The impact it might have on someone else? The impact on our community, on our world? These moments are important because what we do now not only affects us, but affects our children and our children's children and is what we will pass on to future generations. Join us in spreading respect into our community and world so that our positive vibrations will spread and heal our community and world. We are interconnected. Join us in making positive change with fierceness right now.